Prime Minister Modi is actually visiting uh, Kevadia where he is going to be offering floral tribute at the Statue of Unity which will be followed by Rashtriya Ekta Divas celebrations. He will also lay the foundation stone and inaugurate multiple projects there in Gujarat. Thereafter, at around 11.15 a.m., what we are learning that he will be addressing the officer trainees uh, of the 98th Common Foundation course in Aram 5.0. So we are flashing the live visuals of Prime Minister Modi there near the Statue of Unity, the statue of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. He will be visiting Kevadia where he will be offering floral tribute at the Statue of Unity. In fact, as you can see the live visuals there coming in straight from Kevadia of Gujarat where Statue of Unity is actually situated. Prime Minister Modi is currently at that location for the Rashtriya Ekta Devas celebrations. Now he will also lay the foundation stone and inaugurate multiple projects there in, uh, in Gujarat. At around 11.15 a.m. he will be addressing the officer trainees of the 98 Common Foundation course in RM 5.0. We have CNN News 18, Spail Mehta joining us early this morning on the broadcast. Payal, uh, a very good morning to you. Uh, could you just break down the entire schedule of Prime Minister Modi for today? Uh, well, of course, today marks the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, the proud son of the soil, and that's the reason Prime Minister Narendra Modi is uh, is in Kevadia. He's at the Statue of Unity. Uh, he will be, in fact, examining the parade. He'll also be addressing uh, the gathering a little later from now. And then, obviously, he'll also be flagging off a couple of development projects, which also include the ambitious heritage train, which is going to take off from Ekta, which is, of course, this, uh, railway station which connects... Uh, uh, which connects the Statue of Unity to, of course, Ahmedabad. So it's a, a project that will be inaugurating. And it's a very, very important development given the fact that it is under this Modi regime that uh, the tributes that were given to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel by marking Unity Divas and Unity Divas celebrations are being observed across the country. We saw this a little while earlier. Union Home Minister Amit Shah also flagging of the Unity run uh, from the national capital. So obviously, it's going to be a very, uh, very significant day because the Prime Minister has a talk of block schedule today. Once he returns uh, to the national capital, uh, you know, in the afternoon, he will also be participating in the Meri Mati Mera Desh uh, campaign, which culminates today. So, obviously, it's a talk of uh, schedule. A day two of the Prime Minister's visit to his home state, Gujarat. Right, Payal. Also, we want to understand from you the key projects that we are talking about that he'll be laying foundation stone for. Could you tell us more about that as well? Uh, well, a number of development projects will be announced by the Prime Minister today, but one of the key projects that actually is going to be Flagged off by him in a short while from a, at about 10:30 in the morning uh, is the heritage train. Now this is a this is a loco uh, this is a steam engine style of loco train. which is going to be a heritage train that the prime minister will be flagging off. This this will be a, a weekly train which is of course going to be flying only on Sundays between Ekthanagar and uh, Ahmedabad, and it obviously will uh, allow all uh, you know people to have the experience of uh, of a heritage uh, uh, gathering and in the sense. Uh, that will be flagged off by the Prime Minister, you know, today, virtually uh, from uh, from Ekkanagar to, of course, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the city of Ahmedabad. And it will be a weekly train and people will be, in fact, be able to enjoy, uh, people will be able to enjoy a luxury in a way of travel, which will, of course, reduce the travel time to close to three hours. So we'll have to just wait for that to also happen uh, at about 10, 30 in the morning. But like I said, the address by the Prime Minister is going to be extremely important because every other Prime Minister delivers a message, leads people with a message uh, as far as the unity of the country is concerned. And this comes in at a very, very crucial juncture because the government has been saying, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also been saying that uh, the earlier government did not give tributes to anybody, including Sardar Vallabhai, but in the Iron Man of India, whose uh, mission uh, in life was to see a unified India. He probably wanted to see a Kashmir to Kanyakumari, a unified India. And that's something which uh, the BJP and that government has been able to give him the right tribute by a building the tallest statue of uh, at at the uh, at uh, Kevadia, which is of course the uh, the statue that Prime Minister inaugurated about five years ago himself uh, as the same venue. Right, Payal. Also, we want to understand from you since he is there um, in Kevadia, he is there at the Statue of Unity, paying floral tribute uh, to the statue of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. We want to understand for you the special attraction of that particular location and uh, the special arrangements that have been made for today's celebrations. Well, it's going to be business like usual because the Prime Minister comes every year you know, since the inauguration of the statue. He's been coming here uh, every year to participate in the Unity River celebration. That's where the Prime Minister really comes. He addresses the gathering as well, and this is a very, very special 
uh, you know, a statue which is a, the one of the tallest statues across the world, probably the tallest in India as well. Now, this is a statue which is dedicated to Sardar Vallabhai Patel, whose dream was to see a united India, like I said, and that's the reason Unity Divas is being celebrated today. Now, this statue is built out of iron. It's one of the tallest statues, uh, you know, like I've been saying. And uh, people had made contributions to, to in fact, uh, uh, build this statue in a big, big way. So, obviously, the Prime Minister said that, you know, in the in the government, the tributes were only paid to the family, the Nehru Gandhi family, and no credit was given to anybody, including including the likes of Dr. Vallabhai Patel, who is also known as the Iron Man of India. So that's why the iron statue is extremely significant. Right. Also, one of the key uh, projects that are going to be inaugurated today, Payal, is the heritage train from Ekta Nagar to Ahmedabad. Could you tell us more about that as well? Uh, I am currently at uh, the Ekta Nagar station, and in fact, the train will be flagged off virtually by the Prime Minister uh, in a short while from now. This is a heritage train, which is of course a three-coach train, <coughs> allowing about 144 passengers to travel. Uh, you can cover a distance of 182 kilometers in a matter of three hours. There will be no stoppages between Ekstanagar and uh, uh, Ahmedabad. But it, this is an experience that people would really want to have because there are a lot of families and there are a lot of people who come uh, to this place. Uh, and there is also further development which is in, on the cards as far as uh, Ekstanagar is concerned. Uh, there will be doubling, there will be doubling of uh, the railway line. There will be double gauge uh, expansion that, that the railway ministry is looking at. As of now, there are nine trains which fly from the external station, but you know, there is an ambitious target which the government has set for itself because they would like soon to have about 27 to 28 trains fly from this station and they would possibly look at getting trains from every uh, state coming into external because external is a huge tourist destination, it's a huge tourist attraction and they would like to enhance uh, that capability uh, in a big way. Right, and he'll be addressing the fifth edition of RM. What is the theme this year? Well, the theme is the same. The theme is that unity and unity, India's unity is its strength. And uh, Sadar Vallabhai Patel spoke about the fact that India needs to be unified India. He is somebody, you know, who probably had a huge role to play as far as that is concerned. So unity and the importance of unity in the present day and age probably we can expect the Prime Minister to highlight on that because the world is going through a trifle. The world is going through a lot uh, in, in many respects as well. But India is a strong democracy with a strong democratic value in place. So let's see. It's going to be a little uh, too early to talk about what the Prime Minister is going to be really saying because he is going to sing in a lot of surprises, but this should be the lines on which the Prime Minister should be able to speak. All right, Pyle, we request you to please stay with us because we are getting the live visuals of Prime Minister Modi. We are flashing it on our viewer's screen as well. Let's listen to him first.